What is random, by the way? Have we ever tried this? Okay, we need to go to Capella Magna. We don't need to go inverse. Excuse me? I thought this would be a random character. It isn't. <laughs> okay. What? I don't know. I don't even know what this is anymore. Uh, let's actually take the Night Sword here. That could help me farm a little bit early. Let's do the, uh, I guess the bone. So, uh, this would be a separate ep episode. This is that other guy's thing. Okay, let's try that. I just need to make sure I save a spot for birds. There's the flames. Base speed up by 25%. Sure. Uh, go again. The pure heart thing. I'm. I'm thinking now. It's. There's potential that it's also. Um, potential that it's also like a base character. You know how some of them come in with like evolved weapons and stuff. Could be something like that. Uh, well... I could go garlic. It's not super sexy. It's just that I don't have a lot of evolves, which is, I guess, also not so bad. I could take this and go Rune Tracer, then it's something that I know. I could take this and go Hearts, which is something that I know. Um, let's take Armor. And what's on map? Oh boy. Okay, so we've got the Duplicator, we have the Crown, we have Tiramisu. And we don't know the evolution of this. Makes sense. If I want to evolve the sword, then I have to go stone mask. The problem with that is I think I take damage if I do that. I think we start to take self-inflicted damage. So what else? What could this what could this be? Let's assume for a moment that the fire evolves with something that's not already on this page. Hearts. Candelabra, Spinach, Duplicator, Attractor, Mask, and uh, Book. That would leave the Blackheart, the Tome, the Bracer, which I think I've banned, which I probably should unban, the Clover, the Crown, the Skull, the Wings. Frick, it could be anything. It could be anything. Hmm. We haven't picked up the Lancet in a, in a long while, but I think we need to take we need to take damage stuff. Okay. Oh man, do I go back into the Silver Wind? That probably saved my butt last episode. Let's reroll. Ah, uh, there's our other bird. We'll secure that. I 
Maybe I want to go like a little Santa water action. Get the attract orbs going so I can pick up more stuff. Let's see if I can find either Santa water or uh, the attract orb. Anybody? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I guess if I really wanted to try and uh, evolve that fire, I wouldn't want to pick the attract orb because that's on that second screen if my original hypothesis is correct, which, you know, let's be honest, probably isn't. <laughs> um, I think spinach is fair, but that's also on that second screen. Let's go armor here. Oh, candy box. A little early. A little early. Let's do uh, Night Sword. Okay, Bone. Huh. I mean, Rune Tracer's a good pick here. But I also said, like, Santa Water, just for some damage. Let's get rid of the whip. So, I'm wondering if this random just gives you a random uh, starting weapon. And I don't even know if they're, like, the stat... Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, nice. Both are here. Oh, that's... Okay, we're getting our damage ramping here. Let's go Tome. I just need to save one slot for the uh, Attract Orb. Nice. And then uh, Duplicator was on that screen. We could try Clover. This is literally the only guess that I have is to try things that aren't here, right? But th that might... That's probably not even a DLC weapon, but it is on the second screen, so who knows, man. We're just totally guessing. Uh, so things like... What? Blackheart I could try. It is fire-based, so maybe similar to the fire wand, maybe it does go with spinach, which is also on that screen. I'm okay to I'm okay to try that, I guess. I'm trying to use some semblance of logic for this stuff. Now we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing and not evolve the birds. So I'll try to, like, banish one out later. Same thing as we did on the last run. And then I gotta find the, the balcony we're looking for. What other stats do I have here? Nothing that jumps out at me as being like, oh, cool, that's... Makes a lot of sense. Uh, here, let's take the spinach. And then, is there anything else that I need? The only thing, like we pointed out earlier, would be maybe going into the stone mask. I've got the crown up top that I can get later. So, I think if it pops, I'll take Wings or I'll take uh, Black Heart here. Just to see if possibly those would be something that pairs with the uh, fire thing that we have going on. 
Let's keep leveling that. Not being on inverse mode certainly feels nice, I'll tell you that much. Let's go Tome. Okay, Santa Water. It's a downside with that bigger magnet size is it's tougher to skirt around some of those things that you might want to leave. Santa Water here. We'll start exploring once we feel a bit more uh, powerful. Uh, armor here. You can also check the merchant. Let's go spinach. Eggs. That's one among many aspects of strategy for this that I don't have a solid handle on is uh, when and how to best use the merchant. It also seems to be some variability between characters, too, as to what the merchant offers. Uh, the skull is a possibility. I think just learning our lesson from last time, maybe I don't want to increase curse for this, but... Like, evolving that fire is nice, but that's not the main reason that I'm here. So, I think I'll wait for wings. Or the black heart. Crown is already on map, so we're going to leave that. Let's go Clover. Uh, Night Sword here is fine. Okay. Blackbird's up to five. Nothing too crazy yet. Let's uh, finish off Clover. <laughs> like I said before, I don't know if we want to evolve that sword. It might just be more dangerous. Let's try the wings. And then uh, what we'll do is... We'll go grab these other items. Like the duplicator, and then we'll go north. Look for the balcony. I got a bunch of the little rosaries next to us, but I don't think we need them. Okay. Let's go, uh... Start maxing some weapons here. So we can get possible evolutions. For sure, the sand water. Nice. The Santa water is actually the only thing that will evolve here. Because we're not going to evolve the birds. And I don't know if we're going to be able to evolve the flames. And the bone doesn't have one. I do kind of like the flame thing, though. It is, it's nice. We've got the Santa water there. Three more minutes till an evolution. Do you have any attractor things on the map? Just to pick up what we've missed, because I feel like that's a few levels. Nothing that I can see. Could still happen.
If, if we could get this flame, if it evolves to where it's like a permanent, it's just spamming stuff. Oh, there's, a, there's a freeze time thing. There we go. Let's go duplicator. Oh, there we go. Flames of Misspell. I, I keep wanting to say Muspelheim, which it's not. Let's go Tome, Flames, uh, Santa Water, Tome, Santa Water, Spinach. Okay. We'll get those other items. We're still sub 10 minutes. Let's do a track door here. Okay. Let's do spinach. Tome me. This hodgepodge of the build is actually pretty good. <laughs> like nothing's touching us. Of course I'm losing my level progression here pretty quickly because I'm not really farming. Okay, uh, let's go crown. Still relatively early. If somebody would go ahead and drop an attract orb, that would be very nice. Crown there. Sick. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm still somewhat confused even at this point, about why some things will evolve pre-10 minutes. When my understanding was that it shouldn't. Oh, look at this. Let's get some gold. Uh, let's do armor. We just don't have quite the number of enemies to sustain this right now. I can get a thousand bucks, sure. Let's do an attractor. Wings. Track for five. Crown is ready. Okay. So that's telling me that the fire doesn't evolve with any of those other things that we have, except it could still be wings. Technically. Let's do uh, wings. Wing me. Okay, wings are maxed. Night sword, night sword, night sword. Ebony, ebony. And then let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, banish 
the ebony now. Just in case something, a lucky, unlucky chest drops, you know? Once we get our birds maxed, then we'll go uh, north, I guess. Go to the fire sponge. We need to find a fiery, fiery balcony. Okay, let's see if I can find the the counterparts. Oh, beautiful. Damn. <laughs> yep, all right. Okay, so we're at, we're at limit break territory. Let's just go random. And let's find this thing. Oh! Oh! Okay. What the hell? Oh my god. Is that it? Look at all my birds. Let me see if we can just do it. Did we do it? Yes! Unlocked Cosmo. Gains plus one recovery and plus one percent luck every level. Okay. Gains plus one revival every 100 levels. Has hidden weapons. <laughs> sure. Okay. Awesome. Guys, uh, I was going to make that two separate videos, but because it went so quick, it's... Well, okay, maybe it wasn't that quick. Maybe it is still two separate videos. We'll see. Um, that is excellent, guys. Two attempts, two secrets, nailed it. Now this one, you guys were saying that it's, um, we could probably try this guy. We have to go, uh, Green Acres, was it? Adverse Fate in Green Acres, run off the edge of the world. We still have to find the flowers in the bone zone. You guys gave me an approximate location for that. And then these, I don't know either. But we'll start tackling them. And uh, we're going to finish up this game in the next couple of episodes, I think. And then if you guys have some challenge run ideas or whatever, cool. Otherwise, we take a break and we come back to it later. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.